Greetings everyone and welcome to my channel. Are you interested in having all the ethical hacking tools you need on your Android phone? Just like what you're seeing right now. Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do just that. I know you're wondering that this is just another Kali Linux video. But in the previous videos I have made on Kali Linux, all of these tools don't come pre-installed, which makes a lot of people ask me how to get the tools. Well, say no more because that is exactly what I'll show you in this video. But it is important to not skip any part of it because you don't want to miss out on important details. And if you find this video helpful at the end of it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification for awesome content just like this. Without wasting much of your time, let's get to the video. All right, so welcome back everyone. Um, it is advised to, you know, give Tamox um, storage permission, okay? So if I type the list command now, which is ls, as you can see, I already have storage permission on Tamox, okay? But if you do not have storage permission, give Tamox storage permission by using the command Tamox setup storage, okay? Tamox that setup that storage, but I already have storage permission, so I'm not going to, you know, enter that command again. Now, after that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to update Tamox repository and we're going to install a package called wget. So, to update Tamox packages and install wget, you're going to use the command pkg update, then pkg install wget, okay? And that is going to do the magic, alright? Now, after that is installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download the installation script for full Kali Linux. To do that, you're going to copy and paste this command. I'm going to leave the command in the description below. So make sure you go there and copy it, okay? Now, after that, the next thing we're going to do now is, um, as you can see, we have the um, NetHunter install script there. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to check the version of your phone, okay? If your phone is 32 bits, 32 bits, um, as you can see, mine here is saying Amiabi version 7a, which means my phone is 32 bits. Okay, if yours is showing maybe I'm 64 or at 64, that means your phone is 64 bits. Okay, but if yours is 32 bits, the next part of this video is for you. But if yours is 64, you can just easily skip. You can just easily skip this part. As you can see, my phone is AM version 71 and AM version 71 is 32 bits. But if yours is 64, just skip to, you know, I'm going to put a timestamp below. So just skip, okay? Now, for those of you that your phone is, you know, 32 bits, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit this installation script before we proceed, okay? Now, to edit the installation script, you're going to type nano, then you're going to paste the name of the installation script, then you're going to click on OK. Now, the next thing you're going to do is, please watch carefully as I'm editing this. You're going to scroll down to the installation part of this, as you can see right here, the ARM64, you're going to see right here there is arm 64 and you can see net hunter one echo to echo three just scroll down a little bit okay and locate the arm hf as you can see arm hf right here which is for 32 bits okay what we want to do is we want to edit this number one here echo number one okay where it says echo one net hunter net hunter arm hf that is what we want to edit you're just going to edit that minima out you're going to clear that minima out and you're going to write full okay you're going to write full f-u-l-l -L, and you're going to scroll down a little bit also and where we have the w-i-m-g you're going to clear the minima also or you're going to write full okay now remember this is only for those that are 32 bits android system for those of you that are 64 bits you do not have to do this just you know proceed with installation but for those of you that are using 32 bits it is important to do this part okay now that this is done the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save um, the script you're going to type ctrl x and that is going to save the script for you okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give this um, system we're going to give it executable permission we're going to give the installation script executable permission by typing the command ch mode plus x okay and as you can see it is now green in color which means it has executable permission and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to proceed to the installation so to install this type the command dot forward slash then you're going to enter the name of the file immediately after entering that command you're going to be given a list of versions to install 
place the full version is the option to click both for those of you using the 32-bit cpu and the 64-bit cpu the full version is the version to click on and immediately after that kali linux is going to install some packages then the root fs is going to you know begin downloading and you're going to wait for the extraction to finish the extraction takes a lot of time so you're going to wait for it to, if, to finish extracting the root fs and you can choose to either delete the root fs or not but as for me i don't want to delete it and as you can see nethunter has been installed so to log into you know kali you're just going to type the command nh okay you're going to use the nh command to log into kali linux you must receive this message that kali linux has been installed successfully okay so I'm going to play this now and I'm going to type NH NH and as you can see I'm logged into Kali Linux okay I'm logged into the Kali user terminal so I'm going to update my repositories now to do that you're going to use the command apt update and of course the repository has been updated now to the connection aspect the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a password for our vnc viewer okay now to do that you're going to type the command kex password all right kex then you're going to type password as in p-a-s-s-w-d now you're going to create a six digit password verify that password okay by typing the same password again and then that is it all right now to connect to you know kali linux to connect it to PNC, you're just going to type the command kex kex and that is going to start the server so um, as you can see the server has been started it has been started in the port 1 which is 5901 localhost 1 so um, i'm going to launch my net on kex now and please it is important to look at what i'm doing here as you can see here you want the connection to be in basic vnc the connection type is basic vnc and um you want to write localhost here the vnc connection setting is localhost one okay and the password here vnc password is the password you created earlier which is the case password you're going to enter that there and um in the vnc connection setting again it is important to note that vnc is localhost one then you're going to click on connect and that should connect you to kali linux and as you can see i am now connecting i am now connected to my kali linux and um if i click on the menu icon now all of the you know ethical hacking tools you know almost every tool you need to you know begin your your ethical hacking career right on your android phone you know is here so this is how you do it okay as you can see if i click on the password attack tools you have john the ripper wireless attacks you have wi-fi river you know air crack all of these tools everything is installed you have um in the exploitation tools there's meta split and the rest and as you can see in the sniffing and spoofing tool there's wire shard and you know all of these tools you can think about so this is it this is how you install the full version of kali linux that has all the hacking tools pre-installed on you know on your android phone so um that is it for this video this is just what i wanted to show you and um if you found this video helpful if this video worked for you please click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications and if you encounter any error please let me know in the comment section below and i'll do my best to reply as soon as i can and to the most important aspect which is scaling your you know vnc server every time you're done working with it type the command kex stop to kill your vnc server and that is it thanks for watching and um, i'll see you all in the next video goodbye